What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D, and you're watching Vina Timmy News. It's not a Kenya Moore video, so I'm not using her intro, but don't worry. The intro is still here. This is not the new intro. We're talking about Cynthia Bailey and her soon to be ex husband, Mike Hill, and that's the reason why I'm not using the Kenya Moore intro. Let's get into it. I'm just showing you a few things that supports what Cynthia said in a recent podcast about the reason why she ended her marriage so understand what you're about to watch is previously recorded so once you watch that cynthia is going to start talking and then i will allow the rest of that instagram live to play without too many interruptions i will do my best so this instagram live is old but it supports what cynthia is currently talking about oh that's a good question right here What is y'all's definition of love? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. What's your definition? Uh, my definition of love is... Mm. I kind of want to say peace. I kind of want to say happy. I kind of want to say... Uh, I guess I can say more than one word. My definition of love is... Enjoying the person that I'm with through everything and just truly just not only loving him but just liking him and him being like my best friend mm -hmm. and just you know just adoring someone mm -hmm. i agree I say what your definition of love was you mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. that you the good and the bad Love is uh, being willing to stay and be committed even when you're having bad days, when things aren't as perfect. You know what I mean? Love is somebody that you wake up in the morning thinking about going to bed, thinking about, dreaming about. Love is just, you know, unique, beautiful. My heartbeat, my soul, my every wish, my desires. Okay, you put a lot love. of it. That's what love is for me. Yeah, you feel all, you feel all of those things? I mean, you know... Maybe you just don't love me as much as I love you. As we're going to set up a live, because a lot of you guys have been asking us um, about trying to hook y'all up. To hook you up. So we're going to. Find y'all with Cynthia. Or Mike. Whatever. You know. Uh, so any of you single ladies out there, we'll do the guys eventually as well. But any single ladies out there that wants to be hooked up, because we actually have a game Or men. Show. Single men. Do you say men already? He said single lady. I only think we're gonna last beyond you. So <laughs> single lady. I only think we're gonna last beyond you. So <laughs> single lady. I only think we're gonna last beyond you. So, so when Cynthia Billy was on the Two T's in a Pod podcast, and they talked to her about the reason she and Mike Hill called it quits after just two years of marriage, Cynthia responded, I felt like we weren't friends anymore. I felt like it was just going towards who are just not going to be friends if we didn't pump the brakes. This is not my first rodeo. I think friendship just has to be there in a marriage. Like love is great, but friendship has to be there. I truly want to be with my best friend. She continued that neither of them regret their decision to part ways. She said that she still has a lot of respect for Mike Hill and feels like it's still her husband because they're still legally married. I took my ring off the day of the announcement, but until then I had it on all this time. Although we were going through some things, it's just weird, you guys. It's just weird. Cynthia did previously tell Page Six that her decision to relocate to California to begin a new life with her husband while consistently traveling back to Atlanta was also one of the reasons for their split. But when someone asked them on Instagram Live a while ago when I posted a video, it was like, we're good, we'll be great, okay? Um, we're blessed to have two homes. And I'm going to get to that because I want to play that Instagram Live life at the end because there's a lot of red flags in that instagram live i talked about it then so i'm gonna let it just run cynthia also said i think there was some incapabilities we've always been for the most part in a long distance relationship and that's not easy people feel like cynthia billy isn't being transparent about the real reason 
She decided to leave her marriage and that's Cynthia Bailey business. I don't blame her because once you put something out there or you become too comfortable telling the public your personal business, then you cannot be shocked when they become entitled and feel like, you know, you owe them something. So I completely understand because if you watch the Instagram live I'm about to play, you will hear Cynthia Billy say the reason why she and Mike relationship is going to work this time is because they are both, you know, older, they know better, they're both stuck in their ways, you know, so you can take that in a good way or in a bad way. But basically, we are mature enough to understand and to make this relationship work. So if that's the case, then you know that it's not all fairy tale. It won't always be peace. Like she said, her definition of love, you will have ups and downs and arguments. It doesn't mean that person is no longer your best friend. It just means working, working and finding your way back to that place. Unless someone along the way decided to give up and not put in the work. So people just feel like it's deeper than, oh, he wasn't my best friend anymore. Because who gets married and do all of that just to run because someone wasn't their best friend? You know, they feel like there's more that happened. But like I said, it's Cynthia Billy and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Mike Hill Business. And if they ever choose to share, that's up to them. But kudos to them. Now let's get into this previously recorded Instagram live. Cynthia just said that being friends was very important to her. So at the very beginning of this live, you will hear her say, you are my friend. Are you my friend? Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. In July, anything worth having requires work. Exactly. And that's what I've learned. Because in the past, I used to cut and run. First sign of like, up. Oh. And the first thing that guys say. That's not true. You were in your, you were in. First of all, you've been married since you were 18. But I was married. You were in long-term marriages, and you stayed for over 10 years. But I stayed longer than I had to, and I should have. And, and it's because for different reasons. And like I said, if I wouldn't have stayed, well, you didn't I, have to stay. You I, chose to stay. I should have. But I, I, when you start doing things that you're not supposed to do, you should get out of it. And that's what I learned. Yeah, you know what I mean? but so, it was your choice to was, stay. No, but I was dumb. I was immature. I wasn't a man. I was a male. I had a penis between my legs. I've always had a penis between my legs, but I wasn't a man. I wasn't acting like a man. So when I'm out of a relationship and I'm not committed and I am also uh, emotionally well, disconnected, we just yeah, least put I'm emotionally disconnected, then it's time to get out of the relationship. That's the bottom line. You know, if you're not happy anymore, leave. Move out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Keep it moving. So, Unfortunately, you know, people stay in unhappy relationships. Yeah. So but if you're not willing to put in the work to work it out, that's what I'm saying. I was at that point. So instead of doing things and shitting on the relationship and doing things that was wrong, then I should have gotten out of it. That's what I learned. I really do wish Cynthia Bailey and her fiance, Mike Hill, the best. But my goodness, we've been here before. She is constantly interrupting him, can barely <laughs> let him talk. As we're going to set up a live because a lot of you guys have been asking us um, about trying to hook y'all up. To hook you up. So we're going to find y'all with Cynthia or Mike. Whatever. You know. <laughs> So any of you single ladies out there, we'll do the guys eventually as well. But any single ladies out there that wants to be hooked up because we actually have a game Our show. man, single man. Do you say men already? You said single lady. I only think we're going to last beyond you. So. <laughs> single lady. I only think we're going to last beyond you. So. <laughs> single lady. I only think we're going to last beyond you. So. <laughs> um, you see how I start a sentence and get three words what? out? You don't listen. That's the problem. What did you say? Uh, hmm? What did you say? I said... If there are any single women, I would say we're going to get to the men. So any single women out oh, there, yeah. eventually we're going to start off with the women. How can you be us? Be like us? Uh, well, put in some hard work. Uh, our relationship is far from perfect. We have a lot of issues that, you know, we just don't always advertise we don't always advertise all the great stuff either but you know we work on it what i've learned in relationships is that you're going to get out what you put in how much you care about the relationship and how about how much you care about the other person is what you're going to get out of it so uh we love each other we care about each other we're willing to put in the work 
and uh, the dedication and uh, stay committed to one another and not run in the face of it. It's a lot of that. Oh, that's a good question right here. What is y'all's definition of love? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. What's your definition? Uh, my definition of love is... <laughs> I don't want to say peace, but I kind of want to say happy. I kind of want to, want to say, uh, I guess I can say more than one word. My definition of love is enjoying the person that I'm with through everything and just truly just not only loving him, but just liking him and him being like my best friend mm -hmm. and just, you know, just adoring someone. Mm -hmm. I agree. Say what your definition of love was. You. Mm -hmm. And everything that you, the good and the bad. Love is uh, being willing to stay and be committed even when you're having bad days, when things aren't as perfect. You know what I mean? Love is somebody that you wake up in the morning thinking about going to bed thinking about dreaming about love is just you know unique beautiful my heartbeat my soul my every wish my desires okay, you feel alive love. Today. that's what love is for me yeah you feel all you feel all of those things i mean you know maybe you just don't love me as much as i love you no i i you know i love you i'm just saying i think the world know i love you is that right? Yeah. Hashtag thirsty scent. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag uh, thirst is real. Who is and yes, I have female friends, but I have a lot of male friends. They watch the show, child. They I know, but that's what I'm saying. People just like, oh, no, you got all no female friends, girl. Red flag. Look, she know them. I ain't messing with them. They cool. You know what I'm saying? I got no romantic involvement with them. You can have female friends. As long as your girl know your female friends. She got male friends. I know them. It's cool. We cool. Matter of fact, I interviewed one tonight. Her ex. It's all good. We are secure over there. You ain't got to be worried about all that. Anyway, is this quarantine helping you guys learn how to deal with your flaws? Actually, yes. Very much so. This quarantine, actually, I'm going to tell y'all something. She ain't here. But she'll tell you when she gets here. This quarantine saved our relationship. But we're real. And uh, one of the things that Cynthia and I have decided to do because I'm, I am going through my therapy and a lot of the um, things I am is that I'm being very transparent about my life and about everything. You know, a lot of people want to sensationalize a lot of the things that I've gone through in my life when they was talking about the infidelity with my exes and all that stuff. And it wasn't with everybody. It was just with us, you know, certain few, which one is enough. But um, even in our relationship, you know, one of the things that I like about the relationship that we have is that we admit that, you know, we're not perfect. We're perfect with each other. But we have a lot of issues and we, you know, we argue just like any other couple. And I think when people say they want a relationship like ours, I ask them, are you ready to put in the work that's necessary to have a relationship like ours? Because our relationship is far from perfect. We still have, have issues and we still have a lot of things that we're still getting to know each other and still getting to grow. But I know that she's the right woman for me and she knows I'm the right man for her. And it's right. And that's why I want to marry her. Um, so but we do we put. We met like, you know, at an older age, you mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So both of us are set in our ways and ain't nobody trying to change each other and all that mess. That's not happening. So. Yeah, but we also, what I was saying is like, what I like about us is that we're not putting it out there that we're all perfect and every day is, uh, you know, better roses with us. We got a lot of things that we deal with and we have arguments and things and sometimes go days without even speaking to each other, yeah, which is week. tough. Yeah, which is tough. But then she misses made me. made up four days ago. She misses me. And then she, you know, tries to make do, up for it. But... Yeah. That's my best friend. So the thing is, like, you know, like, just like you have brothers and sisters, best friends, you're going to have arguments, you're going to have disagreements. But at the end of the day, this is a lifetime. I know it's not just a reason. I know it's not a season. This is a lifetime commitment. So that's why I'm willing to put in that work. Do you let her win? She won't let me win. She won't lose. She won't What's admit that. Yeah, oh, hell. that's the problem. You know, like sometimes Cynthia knows she's wrong. Cynthia, I will just basically shoot down every single one of her arguments and just hit her with facts and hit her with like, this is what happened, how this happened, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, that's not the issue. Well, it was the issue you just.
brought a minutes ago. But she will not lose. She's determined. She's like that. Well, I will say that you are the one to extend the olive branch in the relationship. Yeah. You know, I'm really. The she won't extend a leaf. On the show. The she won't extend a leaf. On the show. The she won't extend a leaf. On the show. yet sad and that's one of the many reasons why their marriage didn't work it's all about compromise and balance no one absolutely no one is always right and you have to find a balance where it's not about winning or losing it's about making sure the both of you understand each other i know exactly what they're talking about and, and that is not a good feeling when it feels like your partner is more focused on winning than your feelings even if your win is at the expense of hurting someone's feelings of shutting someone down of not compromising you're more concerned she's like oh yeah an argument oh yeah yeah, absolutely flag on the play. But here's what I said when all of this happened in 2020. So let's get into more of what they had to say. And then my commentary will come up after. You know, I'm really. The she won't extend a leaf. On the show, I extend the olive branch. Yeah. If she, ex here. If she extend a branch, it's to whoop my ass with. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying that I'm a relationship expert over here, and I'm not judging Cynthia and Mike Hill relationship. I'm watching the Instagram live and giving my opinion about it. You know, that's what I do, give my commentary on things. And I don't know why Cynthia is behaving like, you know, we should give her a trophy, like to be proud of the fact that she have to win every argument even when she's wrong that is not healthy there's absolutely nothing healthy about that and it might be cute right now you know mike can laugh it off but eventually that's not going to work because a relationship is compromised a relationship is being able to admit when you're wrong, apologizing, all of that. So the fact that he said she never lets me win and even when she's wrong and I prove to her that she's wrong, she still find a way to be right. That is not cool. Nobody is right all the time and eventually they're gonna have major problems. You should have a voice and he should have a voice that both of you are becoming one. It's one team. It's not your team and his team. Okay? So it's not about, oh, I got to win. I got to win this and you're going to lose. What is he losing? What are you winning if you are harming the relationship? The resolution in arguments and all of that is it's supposed to help bring clarity and also help the relationship, not divide the both of you. So if Mike Hill is constantly throwing in the tower and saying, okay, yeah, you're right, you win, that's not a resolution at all because that means he is shutting down how he really feels because he doesn't want to have this argument. So instead of him coming to his woman and saying, well, baby, let's talk about this and calmly having a conversation and coming to a resolution where he feels great and she feels great, he's basically giving up and saying, okay, you win, my opinion doesn't matter, but then eventually everything is going to come crashing down. So hopefully, you know, the two of them will, you know, figure it out. Like I said, I'm just giving my two cents, not judging their relationship or anything like that. How do you feel about dating Leo? Oh, how do I feel about dating Leo? Hmm. <laughs> well, Mike is actually my first Leo. And uh, it's good. It's oh. good. It's good. No, 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 no. It's good. No one is moving. No one is moving. We're, we're two homes. Here's the thing: Los we have Angeles two homes in Atlanta. Yeah. So we're, uh, you know, fortunate and blessed enough to be able to have two homes, and we're gonna keep both of our homes, and we're gonna still be spending the majority of time together, but. Yeah, because no. we still work both places. Yeah. We work in LA and Atlanta. Yep. So. 
and those marriages didn't work out so it's like selling your home and then something doesn't work out and then now it's like i mean yes they have enough money to always buy new homes but i completely understand holding on to things that are theirs the video is done what you're gonna watch in the end is basically Cynthia and Mike spend another three to four minutes arguing about the angle <laughs> or the angles <laughs> of recording the Instagram live. And I think it shows a very interesting insight, okay? I could have basically left this part out, but I want you all to see the interaction with, you know, something as simple as recording on Instagram live. Very interesting, but overall, I'm wishing Cindy Billy and Mike Hill the best. Hopefully they're able to figure out their wedding and all of that. I'm wishing all of you the best. Be safe out there and take care of yourselves. Appreciate it. No, love you guys. Yeah, we love you guys. We'll talk to you. Have a great week. And Kia, we haven't forgotten about you. Kia. Oh God, I can't stand when you hold it like that. I mean, like, you can hold it. I got carpal tunnel syndrome. Hold this motherfucker right now. <laughs> yeah, like, we don't hold it. Like, we don't want to look at the air vent the whole time. Well, it's clean. That doesn't matter. Like, that is just such a more flattering angle. We're going to be on here. Can we just be great? Mm. No. Oh, sorry. Can we do a dead one? No. Face. Yeah, like there. Like right there. Babe, you don't have to do all that. Hmm? It's yep. just a matter of, like, look, I'm going to hold it. You hold it. This is, this is you. Mm-hmm. This is how our lives work. What's wrong with that? You look good. All we see is the ceiling. You look good. This is me. But do you look good? I look better right here. But you look because good. Because it's just a better frame. But you just look good. All I say is but just look good. You know good and what is the difference. You, you can hold, hold it, it like this. Under your chin. And, and all people, we see is up our nose. I think okay? people can see my nose is clean. It doesn't matter. Well, nobody wants to see this. They want to see this. They but do see, not want to see they, this. They want to see real stuff. But this is, well. See, that's what I'm saying. I ain't even about all no filters and all that stuff, man. This I'm is like, not a filter. Like, this, this is, is just me. holding it at a proper angle so that we actually look cool. That's it. Nobody wants to see that. That's why we, okay. Wrong. How we going to look? Right. Okay. Wrong. What's wrong with that? Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is annoying. That's who I am. Like, I got lines in my forehead like and all you want to no yeah, you just want to focus on your forehead i'm just like all of that i'm just flawed i'll take that's all that's fine shit. i'm flawed too i'm but just like i ain't the best looking lie. dude in the world but i ain't flavor flame so i'm just who i am i can't help it so anyway i don't know about all that type of stuff and the, the snow filters and all that i just know that we're not talking about filters. We're talking about camera angles. angles. Well, babe, you look good, no matter what your angle is. Yeah, like, if you can see me in the damn frame. If y'all like, you can't even see me. This if, is this is how you do our lives. If y'all like, sit. I, I want. Can y'all see us like this? I wanted to show off your new bob. They can see you. This it's is just, us. They can see you. That that was in the way. Yeah, but this is okay. But then this is how we are. <laughs> no, this you, is how you do it. I never hey, do guys, it that way. It's me and. Me and uh, my fiance said I never when it do should it be that like way. This. That's cool. That's how I had it before. Are you insane? Can y'all give us some thumbs up if Cynthia looks good, no matter what the angle is? That's not the point. That's not the point. Hearts. No, no, I don't want it. I don't yes, want it. That's not the point. Please give us some hearts. No, nope, that's, that's not the point. Woman, she that's looks not good. The point, point is, y'all know he had that camera like this the whole time. Look at it. Look at the hearts. Look at all the hearts. Oh, thank you, guys. Y'all so sweet. Yes, we love y'all. Anyway, this is stupid. This is a dumb conversation. The point is. Like, it's just, if, you, if we're going to do it, I don't want to do it and not do it right. Well, uh, do we ever do it and not do it right? I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, play, play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give me a clock. Let me see what time it is. I got, got four minutes a night, baby. Come okay, on. We're, we're, we're like, I got four minutes a night. This is going a whole nother direction. Anyway. I love you guys. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Kill had their not so pleasant moments on Instagram live, but I'm not going to include all of that in this video. I just wanted to remind you all that they had little issues here and there. I know when the news came out, it was, oh, maybe Mike cheated and this happened. But as you can see from the Instagram live, there are other things too that will be irritating in a marriage. Now, if you go to the RHOA playlist, you will see things that might rub you the wrong way that Mike Hill did on those Instagram lives or in the interview and all of that. So I don't want this video to look like, you know, one-sided as if Cynthia was the problem. It's a problem. Absolutely not. It takes two 
I'm not nitpicking and exposing anything. This Instagram live is on the playlist. It was posted in 2020. I just brought it back because everything they said in this Instagram live is what Cynthia Bailey is saying in her interview. She wanted peace. Her best friend. The list goes on and on. She wasn't getting that anymore. So she left. He had a problem with her constantly interrupting him, thinking winning every argument was more important than making sure her partner wasn't hurt. And then Mike was saying things like, I don't think we're going to make it. And laughing because, you know, she doesn't listen and she kept interrupting. And he was very transparent. We're not perfect. He was going to counseling. He basically said a lot. And so this Instagram live was just a flashback of what they were experiencing. And then to say the quarantine saved their relationship. So basically before they even got married, they were about to call it quits. And then the pandemic ended up saving their relationship because they had to deal with each other, be in the same space, talk through things. And so they almost didn't even make it down the altar. But regardless of everything, I do wish them the best. Now, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.